एक्टिविटी टेन पॉइंट वन टू टेक ए कॉन्वेक्स लेंस फाइंड इट्स अप्रोक्सीमेट फोकल लेंथ इन द वे डिस्क्राइब इन एक्टिविटी टेन पॉइंट वन वन ड्रॉ फाइव पैरल स्ट्रेट लाइन्स यूजिंग चौक ऑन ए लॉन्ग टेबल सच दैट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सक्सेसिव लाइन्स इज इक्वल टू द फोकल लेंथ ऑफ द लेंस ओके प्लेस द लेंस ऑन द लेंस स्टैंड प्लेस इट ऑन द सेंट्रल लाइन सच दैट द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ऑफ द लेंस लाइज जस्ट ओवर द लाइन the two lines on the other side of the lens correspond to f and 2f of the lens respectively mark them with appropriate letters such as 2f1 f1 f2 and 2f2 so what we are doing here is first of all we are going to make two lines no, sorry five lines 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay no space here one minute i will show you 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so as that distance between them is equal to the focal length so suppose focal length of lens is 20 cm so this is optical center and distance between this and this line is 20 cm this and this is also 20 cm distance between them this is also 20 cm and here also it is 20 cm this way we have to make five lines now this is this is f1 this is 2f1 this is f2 and this is 2f2 okay we'll place a lens lens stand lens uh, placed on a stand here such that optical center of the lens will lie at this point okay so it will be i should have made agar ye line suppose aisi hai to ye stand aisa dikhega aur wo is point pe placed hai basically this all lines are this way okay now place a burning candle far beyond 2f1 to the left now object is what object is burning candle that should be like if you are doing this on a table on the other corner of the room you can just place a candle that will be actually case position that object is placed at infinity infinity means the distance of the object with respect to focal length should be very large okay so object is placed and at infinity at uh, beyond 2f1 at 2f1 f1 and this way will obtain various positions uh, of the images image will be for image we can take one piece of cardboard or paper and this is actually screen will place it accordingly and obtain the image on this screen okay then this will be the conclusion of this activity so when we place the candle at infinity the image formed or screen means image will be formed at f2 okay so here when object is at infinity image will be formed here that means if you will place this screen here you will see the image of this candle okay then point size image will be there and image will be real and inverted that means if candle flame is this way you will see inverted means the black part will be seen at the top and this lighting part will be seen at the bottom okay when object is placed beyond 2f1 the image will be formed between 2f2 and f2 okay so when you will bring candle close to not at 2f1 beyond 2f1 okay so the image will be formed between this f2 and 2f2 when object is placed at 2f1 at this point the image will be formed at 2f2 okay and in all these cases real and inverted image will be formed real image means image will be obtained on the screen okay then when object is at f1 image will be formed at infinity it will be obtained at large distance okay and the image formed will be highly enlarged okay when object is between f1 and o this is actually different case when object is between f1 and o yahan pe kahi pe place karoge to fir tum screen ko kahi pe bhi place karoge you will not be able to obtain the image on screen so that means the image is virtual Im image will be obtained can be seen 
inside the lens only so it, it's actually virtual and erect image therefore it cannot be obtained on screen image formed will be enlarged and it will be on the same side of the lens as the object so image formed we have already seen this ray diagram also this always forms a special case actually because it is different from the other five cases okay so this last case here okay so virtual erect and uh, the image is enlarged and it is obtained on the same side of the lens so this is activity 10.12